In this work, we propose a decoupled cost share multi objective optimization technique. This technique is particularly useful for resource constraint complex applications to ensure faster performance optimizations with limited budget. State of the art multi objective optimizations can be divided into three categories coupled unaware, coupled aware, and decoupled unaware based on their evolution strategy and also assumption of objective evaluation cost uh, difference. We see there is a gap, whereas we can consider the objective evaluation cost is non-uniform and we can evaluate a small subset of objectives at each iteration. We can, uh, so there is a scope for decouple error techniques and these techniques can be particularly useful for resource cost applications when the difference between objective evaluation cost is higher. For example, optimizing prediction error and energy consumption of deep neural network. Our intuition is that each function would bring some information to the search process. So one objective would bring the same uh, information gain with lesser cost. Therefore, evaluating designs that do not have high enough information gain across uh, the costly objective would waste resources. And if we and we can save resources if we can avoid that. We find that couple error approaches waste resources by evaluating a lot of designs with higher evolution cost. Here it has evaluated a higher number of designs with higher prediction error and higher energy consumption. Couple error approaches sub, uh, suffer from suboptimality when the uh, number of Pareto optimal designs are coming from the regions with higher evolution cost. They, uh, these methods can uh, suffer badly because they tend to select designs with lower evolution cost and they might miss out finding the good designs that are desirable. Decouple on air approaches uh, invest a lot of resources in evaluating designs with lower quality. Here we see that they have invested a lot of these resources with higher evolution cost, but they do not have uh, low prediction error and uh, low energy consumption, and also they do not do well across both objectives. It's done well across prediction error, but has not done well much on energy consumption. Whereas decoupled error approaches like ours find designs with better quality. Uh, and we can see we have saved a lot of resources by evaluating uh, the costly objective only when the gain was higher, like when the quality was higher.